Today's video is an overview of the Open Network, also known as Tone, also known as Telegram's blockchain. In today's video, I'm going to go over what Tone is, how to access it, and how to yield and airdrop farm on Tone today. Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi. My name is Patrick. As a reminder, nothing in this video is financial advice, and you should still do your own research before trying any of the strategies we talk about in today's video. Now let's get into it. Before we get into the guides today, quick reminder that Anything I talk about in these videos, I often talk about weeks or months ahead of time in my newsletter. Check it out at dynamodefi.substack.com. Every week I send out the latest trends, on-chain analysis, and DeFi farming strategies. Again, that's dynamodefi.substack.com. All right, so let's talk about the open network, coin tone, T-O-N. And this thing is huge. The coin rocketed up into the top 10 by market cap recently. However, the ecosystem is still relatively nascent and developing, so I think that there are still opportunities in the ecosystem. And so what exactly is this network? Why should you care about it? Why has the price gone up so much? And why do I think that it has some good opportunities? Well, in short, Tone is basically the blockchain that's affiliated with the Telegram messaging app. And it's not exactly Telegram's network for reasons that we'll get into, but it's being closely integrated into the app. Many things that are many new features within Telegram are using Tone as payment rails. And so what's the origin story of this? Basically, a few years ago, Telegram did a massive fundraising round for the Tone token ICO. They raised over a billion dollars. However, Unfortunately, they were they were sued for issuing an unregistered security and eventually had to return everyone's money. And also they removed themselves from the project. They said, we are no longer officially affiliated with this blockchain. It's now its own independent blockchain instead of being Telegram. It's now called the open network. And honestly, I think a lot of people forgot about it for years. However, this all started to change in November 2022 when the Telegram CEO said he was planning to build out crypto wallets, decentralized exchanges, and other crypto infrastructure on Telegram. Unfortunately, because this happened right after the FTX collapse, it was kind of overshadowed in the news and I think a lot of people didn't really take it to heart. However, that started to change more recently as there's been a lot of interesting developments related to the open network. For one thing, Tether recently launched USDT on the Tone network, and what this is going to do is bring, hopefully, Tether to Telegram's 900 billion users. And this really gets to the heart of why the open network is such a unique and interesting project. Telegram is not just one of the most used applications in crypto, but it's one of the most used applications, period. In many countries, it's the number one app in the App Store, and many others, it's number two, three or certainly top five. And basically what this integration does is it's designed to make it easy to transfer USDT within the Telegram application. And it's using it using Tone as payment rails for this. And stable coins are one of the proven killer applications of crypto so far. USDT on Tron is already used in many countries around the world. And integrating into Telegram just makes it easier to do payments. Not to mention the fact that anyone who does business in crypto knows that most crypto business takes place on Telegram. Whenever I'm talking to founders, or talking to people who work at funds, talking to crypto news sites, it's almost always done through Telegram. But that's not all. Additionally, Telegram introduced ad revenue share for its channels last month. And the payment rails for this are, you guessed it, on Tone. So this is similar to how YouTube videos get ad share. Now Telegram channels are also going to get ad share and it's using the open network as payment rails. And then on top of that, Pantera, a major crypto investment fund, Pantera Capital announced that they were doing a massive investment into the Tone ecosystem. And so I think that this is could be a perfect storm for this network because you've got real adoption in the form of stable coins. You've got Telegram, which is an app with nearly 1 billion monthly users, and it's an app that's been growing significantly over the past few years. And now you've got new capital entering the ecosystem as well. 
And all of this has been reflected in the fact that the price of the tone coin has done extremely well since the end of February. It's gone from around $2 to nearly $7, and it actually has hit $7 at several points. So that's more than a 3x, and it was already quite large. So currently, as of the time I'm making this video, it is rank number nine on CoinGecko. Additionally, the DeFi ecosystem has been developing rapidly. Total value locked on the Tone network has grown from around $70 million at the start of 2024 and $20 million in October 2023 to over $500 million today. And part of that is because the price has increased. However, even if you look at this in terms of the Tone token, then you can see that since the start of the year, that has gone from around 30 million tone to over 70 million today and nearly 90 million at the peak. So that has also doubled or even close to tripled since the start of the year. And so if all of that sounds interesting to you and you'd like to test out the tone ecosystem, here's how you can get started. First thing you'll need to do is set up a wallet that's compatible with this network your phantom wallet, your MetaMask wallet, those aren't gonna work. You need one that's specific for this network. And there's a few options. So if you're outside of the United States, then you may be able to use the Telegram wallet. Here's a link to it from the Tone website. It's just t.me slash wallet. This is gonna be a wallet that exists directly within Telegram and lets you do everything you wanna do on the network directly from your Telegram application. Unfortunately, if you're in the United States like I am, they do have a geo block on that. Another great option is the Tone Keeper wallet, which, which functions similar to many other wallets that you are probably familiar with. So I'll link it down here. If you've set up a DeFi wallet before, this is gonna be very similar. You just have to generate a wallet and then you will, of course, have to secure your passphrase. And I'm not gonna show you the passphrase now because, because I don't want people to play around with this dummy wallet, but, um, I'll link this down in the description. And once you've set up the wallet, you'll have to get some funds onto the network. And admittedly, it is relatively difficult to get funds onto this network. Here's a list of exchanges from CoinGecko where you can buy spot tone. There's some that you may be familiar with, OKX, Gate.io, Bybit, etc. However, a lot of the major exchanges, Binance, Coinbase, they don't have it right now. And so, an easier way to get onto it, I think, is to actually bridge it onto it on chain. And one place that does support it is RocketX. RocketX, I use to bridge to pretty much every strange, tough to get to blockchain. They have hundreds of blockchains. And you can see here, for example, if we bridge from Ethereum, then again, hundreds and hundreds of blockchains, we can search for Tone. And indeed, they have it. So I, I would uh, probably bridge some from over to uh, the Tone Network from here. And once you get funds on, there's some interesting applications to use. So we're gonna go through a few. Some of these are good for just basic functions like, like staking, trading, etc. And a few of them actually have airdrop opportunities right now. One of the applications and one of the largest applications is this StoneFi. So they, right now, you can buy and stake stone. And I guess they have some sort of airdrop coming up. That's sort of a secondary airdrop since the token is already live. However, you can also farm on here and earn some APRs. So you can see right now, for example, tone USDT, the farm is 111% APR at the moment. This 10% is the 24 hour APR. Uh, however, because you can also farm these liquidity pools, you can actually earn more from token incentives. So Tone USDT, you can earn 111%. Uh, there's also many other farms that maybe offer more. However, keep in mind, most of these are probably small tokens that either are highly risky, may not have much utility, uh, and the price could be uh, extremely volatile. So, so don't just choose things because they have a higher APR. Always choose tokens that you want to hold anyways, and then look for opportunities to farm them. So that's StoneFi. That could be a good farming opportunity. Uh, another potential opportunity is DDust. DDust is another decentralized exchange. And you can see here, once again, uh, it's sort of, we're getting back to the old school of um, uh, yield farming where it's a new network. There's decentralized exchange on it. 
and that decentralized exchange is offering incentives so you can farm tone and usdt for 141 percent apy in fact it's closer to 142 percent apy again you get that same thing where a lot of these tokens are either inflationary or highly risky and so that's why they're able to have these elevated aprs and apys so just keep that in mind you know buying things because of the apr is often not good but if you're holding tone anyways this could be a could be a solid opportunity for you uh, another thing to note is that you're farming dex tokens here and oftentimes dex tokens are one of the best ways to speculate on the growth of a network so it's possible some of these tokens could do well you just have to watch out for inflation because a lot of them are also pretty inflationary all right so let's talk about some airdrop opportunities now first one that jumped out to me is eva with two a's so it's kind of like eva and this is a lending market on tone lend and borrow at your fingertips it's been growing rapidly this thing has been blowing up and the reason why is they have this ongoing rewards program i think the term points is falling out of favor however they're calling it xp so it's basically points and you have an incentive program to distribute eva xp over the coming months and it says until token generation so as far as i'm concerned this is basically a confirmed airdrop and if you look at the opportunities here the supply apy not really anything to write home about you're getting like two to ten percent right uh, i suppose you know these ones are are liquid stake tokens already so you're earning 0.59 percent on top of your liquid stake token but those yields wouldn't really justify the smart contract risk because smart contract risk is real especially for new applications uh, that being said you can see here that there is some bonuses of xp for these markets and so if you want to farm this airdrop this can be a good opportunity again putting your tone or stake tone or even usdt to use another opportunity on here is storm trade storm trade is a perp decks as we know perp decks are one of the best proven business models in crypto they allow you to trade crypto stock forex commodities i have no affiliation with these guys for the record um, I just found this on DeFi Llama, same as everyone else. Uh, that being said, they also have a ongoing points program. You can deposit USDT, Tone, or JUSDT, and you earn RP, which will be exchangeable to Storm after token launch. So again, basically a confirmed a confirmed future airdrop and you can do it with these tokens that you might want to hold anyways but again keep in mind this is a small application if we look at the tvl on this 12 million dollars although it's up it's up and it's growing quickly so you know um but uh it, it's new it's relatively small so understand that these sorts of new applications do carry risk that's part of why the yields are so high because large players people who um, may have less risk tolerance they not, are not quite ready to go in yet that's why the yields are high that being said that's also the best opportunity to farm because there's less competition so so this is one that is very much on my radar on the open network next up we've got some liquid staking opportunities two that jump out here are the tone stakers simple name but large application they have sixty nine thousand stakers i couldn't have planned that better if i wanted to three percent annual percentage yield so if you're holding tone you can earn the staking yield with this liquid staking does carry risks but generally speaking it's the least risky way to earn yield aside from just staking directly with the with the uh, network another liquid staking application is going to be bmo so bmo is interesting uh, again it's uh, liquid staking the apr if it was a little bit higher However, they also have this, this uh, points program going now where you can earn STXP. And at the end of the incentives program, STXP holders will share a BMO token pool of up to 20% token supply. Note that's up to, not saying exactly 20%, but if it's 20%, that's a pretty substantial reward. And remember, Gito on Solana was in fact a liquid staking platform. So liquid staking airdrops can be pretty valuable sometimes. And that's everything you need to know about the open network. Again, if you want to learn about these sorts of opportunities ahead of time, be sure to subscribe to my newsletter at dynamodefi.substack.com. 
And for more videos like this one, be sure to like and subscribe. Until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.